Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to continue talking about how to create popular effects in GreenShift plugin and WordPress. So let's start with mouse effects. Actually these effects are quite simple and we can create them very fast. So we will first add an image. So we click on media library and let's for example choose this one. We can change the width from here. And now we'll click on transform to animation container. Then we go to advanced options. And in mouse move effects, we'll enable it. Also, we can add a strand for X and Y. Usually I set a value between 30 and 60, for example, let's say 50. Now, as we can see, once we move the mouse, the object is also following the mouse. It animates your page very well. Here, there is not only strength for X and Y, but also strength for tilt. For example, let's set 30 here. And this is the effect that we get. Probably 30 is too much, so let's decrease it to 10. And this effect can be applied to any blocks, meaning that it doesn't matter what you will add to animation container, it will always be displayed this way. Also, here in advanced options, there is an option which is called bounce by object. This means that this effect will work when hovering the mouse on the block. By default, this effect will be applied to the whole window and not only to the object itself, but we can enable it and it will work as soon as the mouse gets into the animation container. Apart from mouse effect, you can also enable custom mouse cursor effect. I will now explain what does this mean. So you can enable it globally, meaning that it will be working for the whole website. All global options are available in GreenShift settings here. Here you can find interactive options and we can enable creative mouse follow. Then we will save the changes. And let's now check how it works. As we can see, this kind of cursor appears and it will follow the mouse. This effect is quite simple, but let's now check how to make it much more interesting and how to add it specifically on this page. So we add an animation container like this and inside we'll add what we want to use as our cursor. For example, I will use SVG shape. Let's select for example this circle. I will also change its color from here. And then let's make it a bit smaller, like this. Now our object is ready and we select animation container. Then we go to trigger type and we'll choose mouse follow. If you want to see the effect itself on the page, you need to refresh the page from here. And now we can see our cursor, but it's a bit annoying so that you can also disable it. Here there is a button reset in editor. So let's check its parameters. There is a follow speed. This is the speed of your custom object. It depends on the speed which your custom object follows the mouse cursor with. Also, you can set here a selector for custom trigger. By default, the mouse will work on the whole window, but we can make it so that it will be displayed once it gets to a specific block.
For example, here we have a block with an image and we will add a class. We can do this in advanced options. Then we go to advanced and here we will enter the class. For example, it will be mouse follow. Then we will copy it and we will paste it here in selector for custom trigger with a point at the beginning, like this. Point means a class, so if you need to refer to some object with a specific ID, you need to put this symbol. It's all written here. And let's check now how it works. So, as we can see, there is no mouse here, and once we get into the block with an image, the mouse is appearing. By default, the block is set to full width, but we can change this. And here we will set a line text left, like this. Now our picture is limited by the size of the image itself. And let's now check how it works. Now, as you can see, this area is no longer active, but once I get to the image, the cursor appears. Also, we can add an effect that will work by clicking on the mouse we have these options available here and mostly you will use scale. So for example, 0 0.5, like this. Here we can also change the duration of our animation. So let's make it shorter. For example, 0 0.3. Like this. And we need to do not so that our scale is from 0.5, but vice versa, when clicking so that the scale decreases. So we'll disable set direction as from. And let's now check how it's going to work. So as you can see, once I click on the mouse, the cursor is decreasing by size. We can add anything at all as a cursor. For example, we can even add an image. So now, as you can see, we have an image as a cursor and when I click, it gets smaller. This effect is very interesting, but we will go further and add one more interesting option, such as a video playback on our click. So let's add one more block. It's going to be again animation container, because this block is quite universal. Also, we'll add a video box. And this is the video that we are going to use. Now we will set an absolute position for our container from here. We will also set 20 for the top and minus 100 for the left. Like this. So since we have set an absolute position, we need to choose a size for our video. I think 150 will be enough. And here in animation container, I will remove the position on the left and I will set minus 100 for the right side, like this. I will also enable autoplay, no better to enable loop. And now we need to make it so that when we click on the image, the video starts playing. 
we have already added a class to our image. So we'll use this class in animation container and we'll set a trigger type on click. Like this. And here in selector for custom trigger, we'll add this class. Also, we'll set zero for opacity here. This means that when clicking, the video will appear. And also we'll enable an option which is called play in our video. This means that when our animation starts happening, a video that is added to our block will also start playing. So we'll now enable this option. And let's now check how it works on the website. Actually, here on trigger type, it's better to use not on click, but toggle click. The difference is that on click means only one click, and toggle click means that an animation is happening for each next click. So let's now check. We have an image, when hovering the mouse the cursor appears, then I click and the video starts playing. Then I click once again and the video is getting paused and it disappears. Such an interesting effect. That's all for today. In our next video I am going to talk about how to animate custom CSS rules and also we'll check this by creating such an interesting effect as appearing video and stretching it to the entire page. See you everyone!